Hey guys, Robin here. And Levi. And today we're going to talk about polynomial long division. Okay, let's get started. Today we're going to talk about a base X machine. Here's a base machine, but what base is it? We can still do math with it even if we don't know the base. We'll just call it base X. The first column is the ones column, the next column is the X's column, and then we have the X squared column, and the X cubed column. If we write down this number, we have 1X squared, 2X's, and two ones. That's a polynomial. Okay, so far you guys have seen base one, you've seen base two, base three, base five, you've seen it all. But now we're gonna mix things up. So, what if you don't know the base? Say, like, it could be any of the numbers I mentioned before, but you have no idea what it is. So we're gonna let that base be x, so base x. So here's an example. We have the first box, this is a ones box. The second box, this is the x box. And the third box is the x squared box. As it keeps going on, each box progressively adds one to the degree. So this would be x cubed, x to the fourth, x to the fifth, and so on. We have the polynomial x squared plus 3x plus 2, and we're going to divide that polynomial by x plus 2. And so to show that, we're going to look at it down here, where in the ones box we're going to put two dots to represent the plus 2, and in the x box, gosh I feel so weird to say x box, this is not sponsored, don't worry, uh, we're going to put 1. And so it works just like at this point, it's just like what you've already learned with division, just with fancier names. Uh, you'd find the pattern on the bottom, in the top, and you'd replace it with the blue dots. So, as you see in that box, there's an x plus 2, and that's a single dot and then two dots. You'd find that pattern up here, and you'd show it like this, and you'd replace that with a blue dot. So, get rid of these guys, get out of here. Put it right there, no, right there, yeah. Don't forget that. And then you find these guys, put one right in there. Since there's one in the X box, and there's one in the ones box, that'd be X plus one. So, X squared plus three X plus two divided by X plus two equals X plus one. It seems like cheating, especially if you've already experienced polynomial division, long division, synthetic division, and all that. It seems like cheating, but it's not. It's math. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, so we have x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. And then we're going to be dividing that by x plus 3. Every time we see x plus 3 up here, we're going to change it into a 1. So, here we have x plus 3, so we can do it. So, just get rid of this and replace it with just a 1. And then, over here, we have another one. It's negative, so we'll just replace it with a negative 1. So, here we have our answer. x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3 divided, divided by x plus 3 is x squared minus Alright, so, here we have a much bigger problem as you can see. Uh, yeah, we're done with the baby stuff. Alright, let's get going. So, uh, there's one new thing. As you can see, there's no dots in the box right here. Uh, it's just, there's no x to the fourth. So, what we have here is 2x to the fifth plus 5x to the third, 5x cubed. Wait, 2x to the fifth plus 5x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 4, divided by x squared plus 1. Here's all the patterns that we've found. So, we replace them 
with these blue guys. So, yeah. Have this ready. Oh well, first time I've ever doing a video. And there's your answer. 2x to the fifth plus 5x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 4 divided by x squared plus 1 equals 2x cubed plus 3x plus 4. Yeah. There you, there you have it. This is some basic polynomial division. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video, but definitely try this at home. Uh, also, this is not the only thing that you can learn about this division. There's a problem that comes up, and we're going to show you how to fix it in a future video. Bye, guys! Thanks!